the biggest thing is that we get to hear and, and speak the gospel to each other while we are uh, there. What I love about it is the friendships that have been formed and, and, and friendships we already had that are being strengthened. I love the fact that um, you, can't, you can't really be community with somebody a couple hours a week on Sunday. So I like the opportunity that we get to come together and actually build uh, relationships. Yeah, I think in church you're constantly doing something and moving from one thing to the next and community group is more intimate and slower paced. Uh, and also that we're using the, um, the questions from the sermon. That, that seems to help a lot uh, to, to let us go deeper into the Word. For me, it's the people. Um, really enjoy getting together with uh, you know, the folks in our group and really having a discussion about the, the sermon and just doing, you know, doing life. We have done parenting and marriage studies and we have people from different stages of life and they're in different stages of marriage or stages of parent parenting and it's nice that um, like for us we've been able to help the ones that have the, the younger kids but we've also been able to be helped by some are, that you know have been married longer than us. Specifically with the men in the group um, I think it's more difficult for the men to be relational but it's awesome to get a text throughout the week from one of your brothers saying hey I'm thinking about you just pray for you and your family. There's a brother that's you know kind of got my back if I need him I can call on him and know that I don't have to do you know do this alone and there's other families praying for it. That I can uh, go to the group and trust the people to pray with me and pray for me and um, that has helped me. Speaking relationally, um, God calls us to be relational with people and um, in community groups it helps us to do that. Um, and I would also add from a personal experience that when my dad passed away last year that having the community group to come alongside you um, was really helpful. And that it's a great way to share and communicate and love on each other. During the community groups, we can really dive in deeper. Well, I think if you want to get to know people within the church in a real sense, the community group's the best way to do it. You feel like you're missing a part of yourself in your busy world to take that opportunity to step back and meet people again that have like-mindedness and um, who are looking and seeking a deeper commitment uh, with God. So one of the biggest things I hear is uh, we don't have time. We can't meet, you know, it meets out of a, a time frame. And I, I would be encouraged to say, uh, don't worry about that. Just just come, just, just try to get here when you can. It's not something that you have to do all the time. And I think the benefits from coming together and being a community will start to outweigh those other time commitments. Anybody wants to belong, anybody that comes through those doors wants to belong, wants to feel connected. And uh, like I said, on Sunday morning, that's hard to do. You can stay and talk for five, 10, 15 minutes, whatever. But you know, when you you got a couple of hours, uh, the first hour to eat and, and really talk, and then the second hour to get into the Word, then um, that that um, gives them a chance to, to to feel like they are a part of the church in, in, in the small group. There's um, seasons in life, trials, tribulations, and I really think that you know when you're carrying your burden, it's uh, it's a divine mystery to me how if you're helping carrying someone else's burden, your own seems lighter. Um, so I, I think just being able to help others and, and be helped is a huge blessing. Being the introvert that I am, um, it's a good way to know what people not to associate with. Uh -huh. and, um, because we rotate every three months, you get to learn about the whole church and find out those people that, you know, just yeah. don't hang around them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you agree with that, Gwen? Yeah, well, I would agree with that. I would also say that um, in our group especially, Pastor David is our leader, mm -hmm. and other than the leader, mm -hmm. our group has been really awesome this time. He took mine. That's really what I was going to say. Yeah, we'll say it. I might like your, the way okay. you say it better. <laughs> so the place that we choose to meet has uh, dogs, and you know, oftentimes when we're in prayer, 
one of the dogs will start barking and that's it's kind of annoying yeah what what food do you not appreciate that has been at community groups <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Don't bring Taco Bell. He kept saying, "Where's the sour cream?" <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't put any sour cream on. Huh? You didn't ask for her. <laughs>